Leah, nice bag. You too. Oh my gosh, thanks. And look, it's insulated. But these are actually like really nice these bags. These are actually <laughs> really nice. And they are perfect if we maybe want to stop by the historic Lewis Farmer's Market. That's right. We can fill up a lot of goodies in this thing. We sure can. Yes, but to tell us what we can fill up with, we have our friend Eleanor on the Coast Life Couch with the historic Lewis Farmer's Market. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yes. Sarah, excited to have you and we're happy to talk about what's coming up. It is the 19th yes. Lewis Farmer's Market coming up this weekend. Yes. Yes. Yep, Saturday morning we will be open our um, 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. till noon. Mm -hmm. uh, we're at George H.P. Smith Park nice. and we'll be there every Saturday from now until Thanksgiving. Oh, oh yeah. Perk. Can you, it's going to fly by though. Can you believe it? I know. Thanksgiving's actually going to be here before we know it. So. <laughs> but we're not wishing anything no, away. No, <laughs> we are not. No, no, no. It's, it's incredibly. But um, so what can we expect this year? Because I'm ready to fill up our bags that you so graciously brought us. Yes. Um, what can people fill up their bags with? Yeah, so this year is our 19th season, mm -hmm. as you said. Uh, we have 35 vendors. Wow. So we'll be bringing, um, you know, beautiful fresh produce as well as we have meat vendors. We have some pastries and other bakeries mm -hmm. and um, some beautiful cut flowers. But we are a producer only market which means that all of our vendors either grow or raise exactly what they sell. Awesome. If it's a baker, they purchase stuff from uh, local farmers and things like that. So. That's so cool. Yes. Oh, I love that. And that's one of my favorite things to do when I go to the market is you go in, bring, maybe bring like a little tea or coffee or something, mm -hmm. get a pastry, and like that's what you do. Yep. And then I hit the flowers last. Yeah. You know, so they're nice and fresh. So that's that's how you're gonna. That's how you should shop, yeah, in my right? opinion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a little treat. Exactly. <laughs> so I planned out your day for you. So Eleanor, talk to us about the importance, because I know you said a producer-only market. How does that help the people in our community? The value of a producer-only market is that we're really helping the farmers in our community. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the number of farmers have gone down in the last few years, and we're really trying to make sure that our farmers all over the Delmarva are supported and have a place to sell and bring their beautiful, fresh produce mm -hmm. to all of the customers around here. Yeah. That's a very important part of the Historic Lewis Farmers Market, mm -hmm. um, but also in addition to supporting our farmers and preserving farmland. We're also really focused on feeding people and yes. bringing food access to those in our community. That's right. So you guys are also, you've got to team up with sort of the food pantry mm -hmm. and uh, you've got options for those enrolled with SNAP, right? Exactly, yes. yes. So we offer a $20 uh, SNAP match. So mm -hmm. customers can come to every market every week, spend $20 and then get $40 worth of tokens to go spend at the market. So you're really doubling your dollar yeah. every week. That's incredible, especially because I think a lot of times when we talk about buying groceries, you know, fresh produce, meat is some of the more expensive sure. items, even though they're the healthier for you. Mm -hmm. And so you're helping people get fresh produce when maybe they, they didn't have that op option before. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and even past that, as you said, it's really hard for folks to have access to that mm -hmm. fresh produce, yeah. which is why we also have a food pantry program. Mm -hmm. So we partner with um, Epworth UMC, their food pantry. And at the end of every market day, customers all throughout the market can give extra change or money to any vendor. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, we go around to all the farmers and collect that produce and it goes right into the Epworth food pantry. That's incredible. You guys are doing so much good. So um, do you have multiple days that the, that the market will be running each week? Yes. Yeah, so um, starting this Saturday is our Saturday summer mm -hmm. market. Um, we also have a Wednesday summer market that will start June 6th mm -hmm. and run through Labor Day. And then uh, this market will transition to our fall market after September. So we move locations because the park will get a little muddy. Sure. Okay. <laughs> so we'll be at Lewis <laughs> Elementary School uh, in October and November. All right. Perfect. Fantastic. Well, we're looking forward to this. And can people learn more online if they want to catch up? Absolutely. We're just at historiclewisfarmersmarket.org. Easy Incredible. enough. All right. Well, there we are go. looking forward. You will see us with our purple bags this weekend and really all throughout the summer. Oh, yes. You mm. bet it. For sure. <laughs> yes. These will get put to great use. Eleanor, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Of course. All right, you guys, don't forget that's all happening this Saturday right now, though. Coast Life's going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're talking about some, some weekend events. That's right. Looking forward to it.